Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Monday the 4th of May and I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news from the last 24 hours. So let's start with an announcement from Tottenham Hotspur Football Club at 5pm this evening UK time and they have stated that North Middlesex University Hospital has expanded its drive through COVID-19 testing and swabbing service at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The announcement then goes on to read, our stadium become the first Premier League ground to be used for testing when the drive through service was opened on the 8th of April, initially for North Middlesex staff and families. Extra testing capacity is now being made available free of charge to key workers from other health and social care organisations, including care homes and wider public sector with COVID-19 symptoms. Maria Kane, who is the Chief Executive of North Middlesex University Hospital, said, We're very pleased to be able to extend our staff testing facilities free of charge to partners in the care sector and other health providers and continue to be grateful for Spurs for their ongoing support and their own commitment to their own local community in these challenging times. An official announcement came out today from the NFL and it reads, The National Football League announced today that it will schedule all 2020 games in the United States in order for the entire season to be played in the NFL team's stadiums under consistent protocols focused on the well-being of players, personnel and fans. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodall made this decision after consultation with clubs, national and local governments, the NFL Players Association, medical authorities and international stadium partners. The NFL Executive Vice President, Chief Strategy and Growth Officer Christopher Halpin then went on to say, we thank our incredible fans in those territories for their passionate support of the NFL. We will continue to serve them through our outstanding media partners and by being active supporters of both grassroots football and COVID-19 relief efforts in Mexico and the UK. We look forward to returning for games in both countries in the 2021 season. So what does that mean for Tottenham? Basically, it means that there will be no NFL games at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium during this calendar year 2020. Tottenham Hotspur Football Club even quoted their tweet and announcement and said, best wishes for the season ahead and we look forward to seeing you at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in 2021. A report out today from BBC Sport and they have stated a number of Premier League club doctors have raised a range of concerns with league bosses over plans to resume the 2019-2020 season. The article reads, One issue that senior medics have sought assurances over includes their own liability and insurance cover if players contact the virus. The Premier League has also been asked to provide some clarity over medical protocols, testing and player welfare. The Premier League is hopeful of a potential 8th of June return. The 20 club doctors have been holding their own discussions about Project Restart, the label given to plans to resume action, with a view to feeding their thoughts into the Premier League leadership. A Premier League source told the BBC that they viewed the move by the medics as a natural part of the process with clubs and a means of reaching the best possible set of protocols. It then goes on to say they also confirmed that the league was in talks with insurance companies over the issue of club and doctor liability and this would be brought up with the government representatives this week. Many congratulations today to the Tottenham Hotspur women managers, Karen Hills and Juan Carlos Amaros. They have been nominated for the BBC Sport Barclays FA Women's Super League Manager of the Season Award. You can vote. I'll put the link in the comment section below and also in the description box as well. So make sure that you vote for them. Tottenham midfielder Harry Winks was talking on BBC Five Live earlier today. 
all about the possibility of Tottenham Hotspur and the rest of the Premier League playing the Premier League games behind closed doors. He said, yeah, I mean, it's a possibility. Of course, that could happen. And the thought is probably not something that every Premier League player wants to do because it's a strange situation not having the fans there. Winks then went on to say, you know that's what makes football. That's what makes the atmosphere. That's what everyone plays and lives for. It's the fans. When you can't hear the chanting, you can't hear the crowd, it's going to be a strange situation. We had it last year when we played Croatia away. It was a very strange situation to be involved in. Interestingly, Harry Winks then went on to say, it's not something that I like. I know there's a lot of players who feel the same way. It's not something that everyone wants to do. But if it's the necessary action that has to be done, it's what's got to be done. Former Tottenham midfielder Jake Levermore has been talking to The Athletic all about what it was like playing in the same team as former captain Ledley King. He said Ledley King was the king of tackling. Considering he had dodgy knees and didn't train from week to week, he was amazing. I broke my leg early in my career at Tottenham, so we were training together. He wouldn't train properly from Monday to Friday because of his knees and would play on a Saturday and be the rock at the back. His timing of tackling was always great, but if he didn't need to tackle, he would just intercept. He was the governor. He was like the Rolls Royce at the back. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Ledley King, he made 21 appearances for England. He was a one-club player. Let me know all of your thoughts and share the love for Ledley King in the comments section below. Tottenham Hotspur goalkeeper and captain has said how cruel it would be if Liverpool were not crowned champions and the 2019-2020 Premier League season was declared null and void. He has been talking to French media outlet Le Keep and said it would be very cruel for Liverpool with the lead they have, they are almost champions. As with everything, there would be a taste of unfinished business. In addition, we are entering the most exciting period, the most beautiful moment of the season. Nobody wants it to end like this. Former Tottenham midfielder Sandro has said in a recent interview that he rushed out of Tottenham and regrets leaving the club so soon. He said, I regret leaving Tottenham. I had three more years on my contract. I had just renewed. I was loved by the fans and by the team. I was one of those who had been at the club the longest for four seasons. At that time, everyone was brand new. Harry Kane, Christian Eriksen and Jan Vertonghen and Maurizio Pochettino had just arrived. I rushed. Now let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, your favourite memories of Sandro and do you think he could have offered Tottenham that little bit more had he had stayed? As I said at the start of the video, today is the 4th of May and on this day in 1996, 24 years ago, Tottenham played away at Newcastle at St James's Park in the Premier League with the final score ending 1-1. And on this day in 2013, seven years ago, Tottenham played at home at White Hart Lane against Southampton, also in the Premier League. Tottenham winning that one 1-0. Do you remember the goal? Do you remember who scored it? Yes, it was that man, Gareth Bale, a wonder goal, bottom left-hand corner, a fantastic goal yet again by Gareth Bale with Tottenham winning that one 1-0. One um, please do let me know if you were at either one of those games and let me know your memories from either match. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comments section below. And if you don't subscribe to the channel already, please do hit that subscribe button. There are lots of people who watch this channel on a regular basis and still don't subscribe. So please do hit that subscribe button. Stay safe and well. I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, you Spurs. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I've been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links 
are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.